Hi, it's Anene Kalistus here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to import your charts of account into Zoho Books accounting software. Now, what are charts of accounts? Now, a chart of account is a list of all accounts in the general ledger of a company. So, I'll be walking you through on how to import your chart of account into Zoho Books. Now, on the home page of your Zoho Books accounting software, to import your chart of account, you go to the accountant section and click on charts of account. Now, these are active accounts, so we have different accounts here, account name, account code, account type, parent account name and so on. So, we have a list of our accounts which is called our charts of account right so this is a this is the chart of account i'll be importing into my zoho books accounting software so like i said it's a list of accounts that of the accounts in the general ledger of a company that tracks expenses income and assets now on this excel sheet you will see uh this is a table that has column for account name, account code, description, account type, parent account, account number, currency, opening balance, debit or credit. So I'll be importing this into Zoho Books. So let's head over to our Zoho Books. So to import our chart of account, we'll click on these three dots close to this new account button. Now I'll select import chart of account. Now, this is the import charts of account window. Now, but before you import charts of account into Zoho Books, you need to know the format in which your Excel or your CSV file must take before you can import. So, Zoho Books provide a sample for you to look at what you need to align your Excel file to before you can import. So, if I click on download a sample file here, a sample file has been downloaded so let's look at how it is so it's going to open so this is how the sample file is right this is how the sample file is so this chart of account sample file is made up of the account name for instance you can see wage payable now this account tracks all wages payable to staff so this, every account has an account code so this is this column description column is mainly a column that tracks that give a description of what this account is. So this amount, so the, this account is all about an account that tracks amount owed to employees for hours worked, but not yet paid. So the account type. So every account has a type. So this which payable is other current liability. So this is what I now use to build my this the comp this company's charts of account. So you can see that the account is a long list, right? Zoho Books give you the opportunity to create your chart of account one after the other. But at the beginning of every financial year, you could choose to import your charts of account in a case where you have a huge list of accounts in your general ledger. So you can see on this chart of account that I've created, you see the first six items are fixed assets and, and they have an account code. So every asset liability and equity category have the account code. So this fixed asset starts with 1,000 followed by the, the followed in a serial order. So computer and equipment is 1,001, furniture and fittings 1,002. Then from 1,006 to 1,009, we have accumulated depreciation plant and equipment. Now prepared expenses, other current liabilities start from 20,002. I beg your pardon. Assets are. 10,001, 10,002, that's for fixed assets. So, other current assets are starts with 20,000, then following a serial order. So, we have prepaid expenses 20,001, inventory asset, petty cash. So, these are the descriptions of what each of these accounts represent, what will be posted into this account. For instance, for instance, let me take an let me explain one. Now, we have uh, advertising expense. So expenses on entertainment are recorded into this account. Marketing expense. 
expenses on marketing are recorded into this account so this is just a list of accounts be it in, uh, income expense assets where you'll be recording purchase of asset disposal of assets each individual expense account so the, we have their description the account type here we have their parent account and we have their currency now unlike other accounting software like so unlike other accounting software like quickbooks sage and zero now there are chart of account you necessarily don't need to specify the currency when zoo books you need to specify the currency of each account in the general ledger of the company so every account here is in ng and nigeria naira unless otherwise uh stated or imputed in the charts of account category now because zoo books gives you the opportunity to work with customers outside your primary economic environment where the functional currency can be other currency other than naira so your customers could pay you in usd pounds um japanese yen and other foreign currencies so there must be a column on your charts of account list on excel that you are ready to import um the house uh opening balance now now there are some there are things to note when importing your charts of account on Zoho books. Now inventory, if you can see on inventory, if you follow through this inventory column, we see the opening balance is the opening balance is blank. Why? Because your inventory opening balance is the list of all your inventory in stock and their their value as at the beginning of the financial year. So we can't just put the figure here. We we'll import our inventory list separately which will add up and give us the figure and that figure will be represented in our charts of account right likewise for our account payable this is our account payable row here this account payable now account payable is a list of all monies now it says this is the account of all monies which are owed to you which are owed to others like pending like pending bill payment to vendors so this account attracts all money you are owing to people you do business with like your vendors like your there your, yeah, is your vendors right so this account you cannot put the op the balance here and import it has to be a list of your vendors names and their balances that is the money they are owing you as at the last day of the previous financial year before you can import that list separate so once you import it the total value will now reflect here so that's why i'm importing the the account name and the description and the account number such that when i'm ready to import my vendors list and the amount they are owing me it will automatically pop up here then before you import your charts of account list on this row you need to have a column for debit or credit so every income expense asset or liability account must either be a debit or a credit account so for instance our assets are all debit so i need to change this this is debit all asset accounts are debit the option for all asset accounts are debit so this is a column that specify that requires you to specify if a particular account is debit or credit so our fixed assets are all debit our liabilities are all credits our income are all credit cost of goods so are all debit likewise expenses so i'm going to import this account now into my zoo book so I'll head over to my zoo books this is the home page i need to select this excel file where it is located on my laptop or your personal computer so i'll come here i'll click on choose file so this this file is located in a folder let me locate the folder where i have that file on my desktop so on my desktop I have the file here this is the file charts of account for import so i've clicked it then i'll click on open now you see the file has has been selected here ready for me to import right so if i make a mistake in choosing the file i could click on replace now if i scroll down i need to take note of something here duplicate heading now there are two options here now this option selected called skip duplicate says that do you want quick Zoho books to retain the accounts in Zoho books that does not match duplicate in 
the import file. Now what this means is, in your charts of accounts in Excel, you might have an account called Retain Earnings, right? Now, Zoho Books by default, when you sign up for Zoho Books and you create your company on Zoho, by default you have a chart of account already created. But now, and retain earnings for instance might be, or may be an account that has been created by default and you might want to import your chart of account that has to retain earnings. So, to retain earnings cannot be in your chart of account. So, this option will say that if you are importing a chart of account where you have retained earnings as part of your account and Zoho Books already have retained earnings, Zoho, um, um, Zoho Books is going to skip that account in the process of importing. But this is the option I normally go for. Now, this overwrite account. Now, this what this would do is, if I have retained earnings in my charts of account list in Excel or CSV, and there's equally by default a retained earnings account in Zoho Books, it's going to overwrite the one on Zoho Books and and enforce my own into the charts of accounts because mine might have an account code or number. So this is the option I'll choose for. Then I'll click on next. Now, yeah, this is my selected file. Now this is um, mapping. This will come mapping in um, important charts of accounts. Now the charts of account details. Now Zoho Books is showing you the fields available. For every chart of account, so every for every account in your general ledger, you have an account name. You have a column for account name, code, description, account type, millage rate, and all that. Now, Zoho Books is now saying that ensure that your account name on your Zoho Books field matches a column with the same name. So I have a column on my Excel file called account name. So I want that column to fall under account name, which is the right thing to be so for the account code ensure that the column account so if i go ahead and select account type here this will be a mismatch instead of seeing codes such as numbers i'll be seeing types so as it is now zoo books has mapped it you see account name is mapped to account name account code to account code i don't have a column for millage rate and mileage unit so that's why zoo books cannot map uh, this the millage rate to it uh, to the one to something in my Excel file. Now, the next thing is to click on next. Now, when I click on next, now Zoho Books is going to tell me if all the files can be imported. You see, accounts that are ready to be imported 62. Now, it means that all the accounts on this Excel on this my Excel file. Will be imported successfully without any error now if there's any error for instance zoo books will tell you number of records keep if there are three accounts here zoo books will mention the three and show you the ones that will not be imported successfully and give you the reasons but as it is now i have 62 accounts in my chart of account list and it's going to import them successfully without any error so it's showing me that no account or no records will be skipped right so i can now click on import okay so it says 62 of 62 accounts imported so i've successfully imported my account so how do i know the ones that i've imported you see on this these are the accounts name every account with an account code are the accounts I imported from my Excel file. Like this employee advance was not part of what was on my Excel file. So you could see prepaid expenses, they have a code, they have this code. So you could take a look at one of the accounts and look at if the balance and everything. So let's look at these furnitures and fittings. So if I double click on furnitures and fitting, you could see account receivable, zero balance. Why? Because this is a list of all your customers and what they are owing you. But if I click on motor vehicle, you see this is motor vehicle account. This is the closing balance for motor vehicle, right? So this is the closing amount of motor vehicle, the carrying amount of motor vehicle in the general ledger of the company. So that's how we import our charts of account. Now, one thing you need to know about importing charts of account in Zoho Books is that you can, if your charts of account contain the list of the banks 
you operate as a business with their balance, Zoho Books will not import them. Now, Zoho Books works this way. You have to manually create all your bank account and their balances as at the beginning of every financial year for you to be able to, to um, work with them in your charts of account for making payments and inflows. So that's that about um, charts of accounts, importing charts of accounts on Zoho Books. Thank you very much for watching this video. Do click on the subscribe button and like my videos to encourage me to share more educational content as regards to accounting and finance. It's an NECA to here and do have a fantastic day.